Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, founder of classtechtips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K 12. I want to share with you how to find the perfect Google image. So I'm here on Google at google.com and I've searched for Grand Teton National Park. Now you can see lots of things come up. I'm in the all section. A little under a million search results come up, and I've got plenty of things to choose from. But I'm looking for the perfect Google image, so I'm going to go ahead and click on image here, and you'll notice that lots of things pop up. Um, there's suggestions in case I'm looking for something really specific, like I want to zoom into a particular part of the national park, and lots of gorgeous images um, pop up on my screen. But I might have something really specific in mind, so I want to share with you some of the tools that you can use for a search to find the perfect Google image. The first one is size. You might see a picture that looks really great as a thumbnail, but then as soon as you open it up, you realize it's not so big after all. This one we tapped on is pretty good. Um, this 2048 by 1300, that would make a beautiful background for my computer. But as I put my finger, uh, move my mouse over some of these, you notice some of these are a little bit smaller. So if I wanted to make it large on my computer screen, um, the resolution just wouldn't be so wonderful. So I can go up here to size. I can choose a particular size that I'm looking for, or I can even just say large, medium, or small, like an icon. If you have something exact, you can search for it here. I'm gonna say that I just want something larger than this pretty standard resolution. Um, depending on what I'm gonna use it for, I might want something that's a little bit bigger anyhow. Up here, underneath larger than, I can look for things that are in a particular color family. So I want something that's a little bit more orange. <laughs> look at these pictures that pop up. Now this did not change the pictures to orange. Um, this just brought up some beautiful images that might fit better for what I'm looking for. Like say I'm looking for something that's a little bit more like a sunset. I can choose pink and this beautiful, oh my goodness, pictures pop up on the screen. So let's stick with this one. I can go here to type and I might want something that is um, a face, a photograph, a piece of clip art, a line drawing, or something animated. We're sticking with photos here, and, and that's going to be pretty much the default just based on um, our search as well. Um, so what you can do here is you can take a look at the time that these pictures were taken. For something like this, um, you really don't worry so much about the time. It doesn't have to be time sensitive. For usage rates, now if you are planning on sharing this with a large group, not just putting it as the back, beautiful background of your computer, um, you are going to want to make sure you give credit um, where credit is due. So you can see which ones are labeled for reuse and these ones will be brought up and that's going to really limit your options because most of these beautiful um, photos are popping up because they are licensed in a certain way. Um, you'll see there's more tools here if you want to um, filter your results a little bit differently, but if you are looking for the perfect Google image, all you have to do is go to your Google search bar, tap on images, and then you have the option to filter based on all of these settings. I hope that you're able to find the image that's just right for you.